the changing of the seasons with understood reason, miracles, signs, and wonders, even the lightning and thunder, mountains, oceans, and rivers, warm summer and cold winter that makes me shiver. Those pyramids in Egypt that stand towering, but nothing compares to his love that is showering. So many wonders on this earth, but we neglect to see the greatest wonder of the universe, Allah. Loving you and me, protecting us, keeping us, guiding us, and always there for us. Forgiving us no matter what, and that is the greatest wonder I know. All praise be to the Almighty and All-Powerful, the best healer known to man. That was my first piece. The second piece is called Don't Lose Me. And I wrote this poem because if you turn on the news, you'll see all the destruction and all the chaos. And so it's just important to remember to stay humble and stay true to who you are, stay true to the religion of Islam, and stay true to what is good. Don't lose me in your twisted lies, in your coward eyes. You fix your mouth to speak, but nothing worth noting do I ever receive. Those hiding behind religion, disgracing the name of the believer. As tragic as the world looks, we must have faith in that which is good. Don't lose yourself. No, don't lose yourself in the crookedness of society. Instead, look to Allah to make your path straight, to guide you down a path of righteousness. Do not give in to the absurdities that exist, and do not take your eyes off of the coveted prize. Strap on your bearings, remember your faith. Remain faithful to Allah and give no mind to the shaitan. As I gaze out, I see the impurities, and all I really know how to do in these times of need is to pray. Immersed in this world of crazy, just please don't lose me. And this last poem is called Indebtedness because that's one of the major themes of tonight. And I looked up the definition of the word in debt, and it means owing gratitude for a service or a favor. And I think it's true that we all owe gratitude to Allah, because without him, none of us would be here. Without you, I just don't know where I'd be, like a ship lost at sea. It was you who saw the best in me, and it was you who set me free giving me the gift of prayer so you could come in and repair. There was no hurt that you could not heal, readily replacing it with zeal. For my life, I am grateful, and no longer do I fear the hateful, because I know that you are by my side, acting as my guide. My ups far outweigh my downs, because you've erased all doubts, sheltering me from the rain and healing my pain. I have no tears because you've kept me through the years. I started as a seed, but you transformed me into a tree that's free. You told the enemy no, and you took away my woe. Sadness and confusion was no match for your love transfusion. And even when I don't deserve it, you come by my side and sit. You are my comforter, my healer, my protector, and your love is sweeter than nectar. You've been by my side always, opening so many doorways, healing my sickness with such swiftness. You've stood by your word so my spirit won't be disturbed. There were days I wanted to quit because I just wasn't getting it. But it feels good to make it this far. You are my North Star. You're always near, so I have no need to fear. I could have been one of the ones who lost my way, but instead you molded me how you wanted me to be, like clay. And even if I never own a mansion way up high, you won't hear me cry. Because Allah, you've been so good to me, better than I could ever tell you, and I don't even deserve half of it. To you, I am gladly forever indebted.